let's solve some problems here. If the figure below is a regular decagon with a center at Q, what is the measure of the indicated angle? Okay, so we are asked for this angle here. Um, we're given here a regular decagon. So this figure here can be divided into 10 equal sections by lines passing through the center, and the center is Q. And two of those lines form the indicated angle here, which includes three of the 10 sections. This one, okay, and this one here. So when we divide this um, decagon, we have 10 sections. And the angle indicated here includes three of the 10 sections. So that is three out of 10 sections. And the measure of the, in the angles, of the sum of the measures of the angles in a decagon is just equal to 360 degrees. So this is just three of 10 of 360 degrees. So that would be 3 over 10 times 360 degrees. And this is just equal to 108 degrees. So that means this one is 108 degrees. And the answer here is letter D. Negative 2.07 is equal to. So we're given here negative 2.07. So this is just equal to negative 2 plus 0 0.07. And 7 here is in the hundreds place. Therefore, we can write. 0 0.07 as 7 over 100. Therefore, negative 2.07 is just equal to negative 2 plus 7 over 100. Or we can just write this as negative 2 and 7 over 100. So the answer here is letter B. Sixty two point five per cent is equal to. So to write a percentage into since our choices here are in fraction form, so we need to write 62.5% in fraction form. So to write that, 62.5%, we just have to divide 62.5 over 100. But we don't have 62.5 over 100 here. But we can reduce 62.5 or 100 into one of the fractions here, the choices. So let's multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10. So that would be equal to 625 over 1,000. And then we can write um, both 625 and 1,000 are divisible by 5. And 625 is just equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Whereas 1,000 is just equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 8. And we can cancel the three fives here. And we are left with 5, 8. 
Therefore, 62.5% is just equal to 5 over 8. So the answer here is letter B. A line intersects two parallel lines in the following figure. If angle P measures 40 degrees, what is the measure of angle Q? So we're given here the value of angle P, which is just equal to 40 degrees, and we need to find the value of angle Q. So it's given here that a line intersects two parallel lines. Therefore, it forms um, supplementary angles on either side. So this one are supplementary angles as well as this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. Okay. So if this is 40 degrees, then that means this angle here is equal to 140 degrees. And this angle and this angle here, since this line is a transversal, it cuts the two parallel lines. Therefore, angle Q is just equal to this angle. Therefore, is also it also measures 140 degrees. So the answer here is letter D.